Hey guys, it's Ino with Flame, and welcome to the start of a brand new series. But before I go any further, first of all, I just want to thank the amazing, amazing people from the ASMR cast live stream who subscribed to me after, I think it was Tuesday's stream. So, you, ha you guys have no idea how much I appreciate your support. I, I can't find the words to tell you guys. So, I just hope that you enjoy the content that you see on my channel enough that you want to stick around for more. And I know a couple of your names, so I will give you guys a shout out. Thank you very, very much to Twitch users Escaped Lunatic, um, Tav113, Little Bixie Games, and Agent. There are four numbers at the back of your name, Agent, that I don't quite remember right now, so I'm really sorry. And I'm not sure if I am Enigma subscribed, but Enigma, if you did subscribe and you're watching this, thank you to you as well. And also a shout out goes out to a lovely lady called Julie, who replied to one of my comments on the Cavcast videos, and who subscribed to me after I told her there was a time lapse painting of my Christmas fan art of Calf on the channel. So a big thank you to you guys, but. Also, very importantly, I wouldn't have met you guys, and you guys probably might not have met me if not for the fact that we watched the CAFCast and the ASMR cast. So, a huge, major, major thank you goes out to CAF himself. Thanks so much, CAF. I, I wouldn't have met these amazing people without you. Okay, so with the thanks out of the way, let's get on into the new series. Today we are playing The Sandman. Now, The Sandman is the second game in Uri's The Strange Man series, the first being The Crooked Man, which we have already played on the channel. So if you guys want to watch The Crooked Man, please go ahead and check it out. Now, the major difference between my playthrough of The Sandman, what's going to be my playthrough of The Sandman and my playthrough of The Crooked Man, is that I know nothing about this game. Unlike The Crooked Man, which I've already played before. So, I'm going into it quite blind. So, let's just check this out and see how it goes. I'm quite excited for this, by the way. I've been waiting to play this game for quite a while. So, let's start a new game. Hello! <laughs> Those eyes just blinked at me. That's cute. This is a horror-style exploration game. While nothing too extreme, be mindful that it does contain some sort of shocking imagery. In addition, please obey the following rules of use. Do not reuse any materials from the game. Do not redistribute the game files. Do not use the game to make monetized videos or any other profit. By the way, um, Uri amended this clause. She allows uh, monetized videos of her games now, which I think is super awesome of her. And do not remove the credits roll when creating videos. I will not do any of that stuff, Uri, I promise. The author takes no responsibility in advance for any trouble or damages indirectly brought about by this game. That's fine. Let's just get on into it. Shh. Quiet, dear. Not another word. There's nothing to worry about. It's only a monster moaning in the closet. I think that's something that is quite worrying, actually. <laughs> Just kidding. Sure, Mom, sure. Well, you're still not sleepy, are you? Then I'll tell you a scary story. How's that gonna make me fall asleep? The terrifying story of the Sandman. Ooh. Wow, I'm really looking forward to this game. Oh, <sighs> oh dear. I still can't get to sleep, can I? <sighs> so my name is Sophie. Morning already. Okay, can I move? Yeah, I can move. I really like the, the sleeping animations of the sprites. I think that's really cute. So we are Sophie Grundler. Interesting. Let's look around our room for a bit. We've got a standing lamp. We have another clock that's for once not frozen at 9 o'clock, but rather at 8 o'clock, which makes sense, probably in the morning. We have a photo on our wall. A teen pop star. Okay, that's fine. The desk, talk, the desk clock ticks on. Small bookshelf features some teen magazines. 
but yeah, apparently our dresser is adorned with a picture of mom, which is cute. I guess I live alone. I'm attending school and I live alone. Your favorite teddy bear. Just washed so he's nice and fluffy. Aww, that's nice. Got our school uniform? Yep. Alright, time, time for school, I guess. Ah, oh, that, that opening sound. It's exactly from the Crooked Man. There's a note here. Dear Sophie, Papa will be staying at work for a while. I left money to take care of yourself for now. <clears throat> Lock the doors and don't leave the stove on. Also, Sister Mary from the school called for me to see her. Did you do something bad? I'm too busy to go, so tell her for me. Love, Papa. Okay, so maybe my mom's dead, so I live with my dad. Did I just tut? <sighs> Probably. What does Sister Mary want to see me for? There's a refrigerator with not much food inside. The pot with the burnt bottom. There's still bread in the toaster. Can I eat it? Oh yeah, I forgot to toast it yesterday. Ugh. So it's been sitting in the toaster overnight? That's disgusting. Let's see, there's a phone here. A rather old picture taken on vacation. That's perfectly fine. Can we go in any of these rooms? This is obviously our bathroom. Stock of detergent on the shelves. There is a shower in the tub, like there was in the Crooked Man. Again, it's a very common feature in Japanese households. And we have got... I think this is our dad's bedroom slash study. Uh, I've got a small traveling ba bag which dad takes on business trips. I think our dad's probably a business... A uh, businessman who doesn't have much time for me. So stuff for dad's work on the shelves. We've got a computer in sleep mode. Wish we could access his secret stash of porn. <laughs> anyway, there's a photo of mom. Uh, we can't sleep in his bed. He didn't make his bed up. Dad, you're so messy. Um, let me see. Can we check the cupboards? The shoe shelf has sneakers and pumps. Oh, I didn't mean to go out. I'm sorry. I, I meant to look around a bit more. What are you guys laughing about? Hey, Sophie. Hey, Regan. You got a painter at your house? Because, man, that hair? How do you get that red without a paint spill? Oh, shut up. How do you get that blonde without a paint spill? Now, hold on, Regan. Maybe she lives near a hot dog vendor. Oh, shut up. I mistook the ketchup for shampoo. That what? <laughs> What is your problem, woman? Miss Grendler, are you here? Yes. I want to talk. Come to my room at once. Okay. Oh, you bitch! What the hell is your problem? Freaking bullies. What are you doing, klutz? Hurry up. You're so slow, seriously. Oh. I am so gonna murder you at some point in this game. Even if the game doesn't allow for it. Oh, there's another girl that came after me. Hello, Anne. Sophie! Um, about Regan. Try not to let it get to you. They're not worth responding to anyway. It's fine. I wonder why Regan teases you so much. I have no idea. Must be hard just me and her. I'm the only outlet for her stress. Um, well, I'm on your side. Okay, Sophie? Oh, thanks, Anne. That's, that, that's really sweet of you. How nice, Anne. You're always, um, watching me. Okay, that's not creepy at all. Well... More friends. I I don't really have any friends but you. Aw. Well, I need to see Mr. Ma Sis Mr. Mary? Sister Mary. See you later. Okay, bye. I just made an impassioned declaration of love for you and you brush me off. Are you tutting at again? Tut, tut, tut. Come in. Welcome, Miss Grunza. Please, take a seat. Yes, Sister Mary. Miss Grunza, you showed great improvement on your last exam. I'm truly moved by your diligence. You've always been a calm, model student. I'm hoping to see you keep it up. I'll have to tell the principal as well. 
Thank you very much. By the way, Miss Grendler, have you resolved what we've discussed before? Did we talk? My, did you forget? You told me you were worried about your recent lack of sleep. Oh, yeah. So I did. Sorry, I'm spacing out. I forgot. It's no good. I just can't sleep. I get in bed and try to doze off, but I just find myself up until morning. How long have you been sleepless? As of last night, maybe about ten days. Wow. Sorry, I can't really remember that either. Oh my. Have you gone to the hospital? No. My dad's busy, so I don't want to worry him. And it would cost money. I'm quite sure that's money he would be willing to spend, Sophie. At least he should be willing to spend that kind of money for you. I see. I wanted to talk to your father myself, but it seems that's not at his convenience. I think I'll be able to sleep soon. Please, don't worry about it. Excuse me, it's time for worship. So we're at a convent school, right? Are you praying? For what? Pray to the Lord before you sleep. The teachers never miss a day. Perhaps you should try it. It may calm you down and allow you to sleep. Well, I'm not a, speci I'm not a particularly religious person myself, but... Sometimes prayer does help to sort of soothe you. I, I mean, I've experienced it myself. Whenever I can't sleep, whenever I have nightmares, sometimes I just say a prayer and it, help, it helps me get to sleep. I'm not Christian, by the way. Um, I'm Hindu. I see. Excuse me. Why is light given to those in misery? and life to the bitter soul, to the bitter of soul, to those who long for death that does not come, who search for more for it more than hidden than for hidden treasure. I'm sorry, I, 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 I can't read. Who are filled with gladness and rejoice when they reach the grave. Why is life given to a man whose way is hidden, whom God has hedged in? For sighing has become my daily food, my groans pour out like water. What I feared has come upon me. What I dreaded has happened to me. I have no peace, no quietness. I have no rest, but only turmoil. Job was an honest and adoring justice. I, I've, I've heard stories of Job. I mean, he went through a lot of like troubles, I think. But as we all know, that does not ensure that disaster will not befall us, yes? Through calamity, he saw the truth. The truth that not everything can go swimmingly. Though you may be too young to have such experience. Trust in the ways of the Lord and ensure your hardship. Just as the Son of God had faith in man and bore suffering. That is what gives us greater merit. So ends my sermon. Now, let us pray. Good word, sister. Good word. <laughs> That's a horrible sounding bell. Are we home? Oh, it's nine o'clock. Finally. I should shower and get to bed. Yeah, let's do that. At least the clocks here aren't frozen. But they are noisy, damn. I don't think Papa's come back. Let's just shower. Oh, she's pretty. Uri's art has definitely improved from when it when from the crooked man, by the way. God, I look awful. Bags under my eyes, the works. Because I haven't slept for days, I'm sure. Why can't I sleep? I just want to sleep soon. I want you to sleep as well, Sophie. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Alright, Sohi. What is there over here? 
I, I wanted to look at this thing earlier before I went out, but apparently I can't do anything with it. TV that's been used for a long time. That's nice. Okay. Oh, it's been a long day. Let's just get into bed and go to bed. Go to sleep. A prayer before bed. Mom always did that, didn't she? Now I lay me down to sleep. The Lord I pray my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake, the Lord I pray my soul to take. It's got voice acting. That is cool. That is so cool. Stupid. If that could put me to sleep, that'd be, there'd be no trouble now, would there? Hey, have faith, Sophie. Have faith. Well, did it work? Apparently not. It's midnight. It's always midnight. By the way, I just wonder, I'm just wondering if anyone's ever watched um, Scott Jessup's ASMR videos. He's actually a really good ASMR artist. He has such a deep voice. It's so nice. Something's weird. Huh. What happened to the clock? Yeah, it has gone really quiet all of a sudden. The wall club clocks stopped at midnight. Weird, I just changed the battery. Is it broken or what? This clock stopped at 12 too. What's this about? Are we frozen in time? <gasps> dun dun dun. What? No, obviously it's not dad. Who's snoring? Who is snoring? Somebody. Are you okay? It's the old guy from next door. What happened here? Why is he snoring in the middle of the of the corridor? He's sleeping. Why out in the hall in the dead of night? Wait, he didn't trip and hit his head, did he? Gotta call an ambulance. Why won't they answer? It's a 911 call. If I can't get through to them, what am I supposed to glean from that? That is worrying. I need to tell the old lady next door first. Yes, let's do that. I excuse me, it's the Grundler girl from next door. Your husband's fainted in the hall. I excuse me? Are you in there, miss? It's not locked. It's wide open. Well, let's go on in then, Sophie. Oh, she's asleep as well? M miss? Oh, she's snoring too. Get up, please. What happened? What is going on? It's usually pretty noisy at night. Why is it so quiet tonight? Not sure what room this is. Sort of breaking in as it is. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Let's just get on out of here. Oh my, why is this guy asleep in the middle of nowhere? Why are they all sleeping like that? What the hell is happening? Is there anyone else awake? Oh, this is creepy. What is this? A map of the town. Town map, yay. Uh, so we can actually, I think we can go into our items and check that out. West Heights, I think that's where we're saying. J.P. Gordon Chase and Co. I've, I'm not wrong. That's probably going to be a law firm of some sort. I mean, you really does like her law firms. Ferdinand Apartments, 7 and 12, Brendan Foods Inc., Bloomberg Mall, Greenfield Heights, Gersh Gershwin Royal Hotel, Subway Station, Lauren Catholic Private High School. Okay, something weird is going on in this town. That's for okay. There's another dude here that's asleep on the ground, resting peacefully, resting in peace. Oh my! <laughs> Let's just check out what's in these tins. Is there anything? Because normally there's stuff in tins. Can we check out the vending machine? Uh huh. No. I think this is probably the seven and twelve. Oh, it's it's meant to be a play on Seven Eleven. <laughs> nice. It's an automatic door, but it won't open. It's meant to be open twenty four hours a day. What are you talking about? Okay, 
Anyway, um, I think I'll end this episode off here for today. Um, there have been actually quite a lot of interruptions with like the notifications and things from Facebook, which is really, really strange. I think I need to go change my settings in Google Chrome to make sure that I can get rid of that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Leave it a like. Give me a comment telling me that you did. Check out the description for more things that I have done and subscribe for more things that I will do. And, as usual, until the next video that I make, this is Eno with Flame signing off. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you soon. Bye!